Welcome back to my channel. Okay, today is a filming day. I'm trying to knock out some filming and things like that. My daughter's at her grandparents' house and I've got the day to catch up on some filming, especially since I had to delete a very good video that a lot of you enjoyed. It was very sad, but I accidentally showed someone's address that is pretty close to me now and uh, I couldn't handle it being up any longer and I was at work, so I just deleted the video. It was the one about me weeding out my unnecessary um, inserts and things, so I'm going to redo it. And I'm going to do it right now, but it's, you don't actually get to watch me weed it out because I've already done that. And, um, but I will talk about what I've done and why I weeded these things out, but I'm also have a couple of other things I'm weeding out today as well, because your girl is going to create a, uh, project binder in an A5 and a recipe binder in a personal. This is my A5. I've got a couple of A5s, but this is my favorite, and she's beautiful. And I've talked about her before, and I really, really, really want to um, use her as an everyday planner. And I've, I've talked about that, but um, I don't know. I've spent so much money on inserts for my personal size, and this is very heavy to carry around everywhere. And honestly, I carry my personal size binder everywhere but isn't she gorgeous i love her she is a kiki k i am a fan of kiki k she, that was my first love um in the planner community i actually have three this was my first kiki k planner and doesn't she go well with this oh honestly i would carry both of these um the only thing about the kiki k's is they don't have the back pocket and i've gotten very very used to having a back pocket but i do store some my dividers and stash dashboards in here and some old inserts um, because I will be doing a video in the future um, on my planning growth but anyway let's get started so let me pull out this when you have a planner as thick as mine of course you love a chunky planner that's just something that some girls just love and I just happen to be one and unfortunately this planner, if you can tell, I have downsized. It's not as chunky, but there's there's just, it's so, this was made a little too big, I think, and it just, it's really, really floppy and chunky. Now, I love my planner, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't line up properly or something, and I even have cards stuck in the back to try and make it better, but it's okay. I still love it. I love the color. Um, the color is everything. It shows up more blue, but it's really green. Um, I've taken off a lot of my tabs on the side because I'm building tabs on the top. And also I've learned my spots a little better. And like I said, I'm kind of changing things a bit. So let's talk about this. Now, when it's time to go through your planner after, okay, let me tell you, after each month, I, after about three to four weeks, I go through my planner and, um, weed out the unnecessary, which is the title of this video. I weed out the unnecessary because I don't like wasting space and time. Um, and because I love a chunky planner, I rather chunk it up with things that make me happy and inserts that because inserts that are functional make me very happy um i also need to be i need to add a section for my daughter in here so i need that room for that so what i did in the beginning i had excuse that bird excuse me bird rude Ugh. how many birds are out there there's like all these different blue jay red bird robin they're all chilling just looking at me anyway um, in, yeah, okay. So at first I had a time scheduled for my like, swim lessons, but right now the pool's getting worked on. So I pulled those out and I'm also, I can't wait to tell you about, um, something coming up. 
someone's asked me to do a PR for a company and I'm really excited. I'll tell you more about that later. It's a, for like a bound planner. So I'll probably use that for the swimming. But I took those out and then I also took out my home project inserts, which was all of this. Um, because I'm building the project binder in the A5, which is mostly home projects. Now, I do keep my YouTube projects in here because I am constantly thinking about it. And, um, I like having that on me, especially my scheduling. Now, planning out my projects will be in the binder. And then the next thing I decided to take out, let's go to the weeklies. As you know, I have been using like two weeklies. Now, I took out the monthly fold out that I had that I was using it for a lot of uh, affirmations and things. I took that out real quick. I knew right away, oh, sorry, that that wasn't for me. I took it out. Um, and I used this weekly and also, uh, let's see, also use this weekly. Now, it was working really great, but I found it to be, it wasn't cumbersome or anything like that. I really liked it, especially foldouts. Foldouts are fun for me. But I found it wasn't necessary for me to have these things. So I decided to kind of downsize a bit and take this weekly out. Now, this is where I had like my time schedule, um, weather, um, just daily reoccurring tasks, a sleep tracker, just focuses because I put a focus for each week for work, home, and personal. Just, it's more like self-care type stuff. But I decided to take that out because I have a self-care um, pullout in my tracking and that works just fine. It'll make me look at it more. And I do use it, as you see. And um, I also have track my sleep here in my product productivity tracker that I've created here. So I'm just going to highlight my sleep area. So let me go ahead and do that. Let me pull out my handy dandy beautiful pouch. Um, I got this pouch from Target in the makeup section, but it is a pen case. I really like it. But um, let me highlight my sleep. So anything with a Z is sleep. I got to bed early this night and this night. And I even took a nap this day <laughs> in the car. I, I take naps in the car. So Z, Z, Z. I think this was sleep. I don't know why I put X's. I think I was just not using my brain. <laughs> um, so there's my sleep. So that helps. And then I need to fill in the rest. I've actually slacked off. Usually I fill in my sleep the next day. So sorry, this is not, this is not a plan with me. But anyway, so I've decided to take the first set of weeks out, which is this, and put my, as you see here, weather and work and water and I'm going to start um, tracking instead of tracking my mood and migraines here because I have the tracker in my tracking section I have the year of uh, pixels and I also have um, yeah, so I have this so I don't have to worry about my mood. That's there. And I really like that. I like seeing it throughout the year. And there's a reason why I need to see these views because it all ties in together. We'll talk about mental health another time. But my migraine will be tracked in my dailies. So I was able to take out that weekly because of my dailies. So I've fallen in love with the Peanuts Planner Co. blocked dailies. I call them that. I don't know if that's actually what they're called. But if you see, there's some days I have a whole ton going on because I like writing down every detailed task that I need to do. It's fun for me. And I liked a filled page. And then there's other days that I don't write anything. And I'm okay with that. It just kind of shows my journey throughout the day of, like, where I'm at. Um, so I've decided, instead of putting migraines in a tracker like that, to just write it on my dailies because... Um, I don't really need, like, if I need to go back and check 
and see what it was related to then I can the great news is the reason why I can do it this way now is because I don't have that many migraines anymore because I figured out what causes migraines now if I have a stress migraine which is usually in the back of your head I will write it down in my journal area here this is usually where I write down um about my anxiety and things like that or even prayers and good things because if you look at here new past be fearless grow in faith like I have a lot of positive outlooks here so that's changed so this is stayed I almost considered taking these out but I they work for me and they're really good so I've kept them also my social media I did take out the monthly pull out because that's where I was kind of tracking how many I do in a month I decided I don't really need that but I do have this monthly list to track when I post a video next month for February I will be doing um, YouTube and then Instagram. Well, in this case, YouTube and then Instagram next to it. So I don't have to, so I can, if I want to post a couple of times in a day, it won't get jumbled up and I won't have to put on a post it. And I also keep my schedule in here, like I said, but I did take out my YouTube note section and put it back here. Um, because sometimes I need a little extra, um, space to plan out a video when um, I'm out on the go because a lot of my inspiration comes when I'm out and about um, so that stays now one of the things I am decluttering I love my note section here I use it mostly for recipes but I have a bunch of recipes in the back right here so I'm actually gonna take these out and put them I'm going to weed them out and put them in a binder on its own. I've decided to start a recipe planner. Um, I'm going to go to Annie Plans Printable and buy the or purchase the recipe insert or find some that I like. Now, I'm not going to take out this recipe because I use it a lot, first off. But secondly, because it's on the front of the page. And then I've actually ended up using this as notes, which is the purpose of it. And um, I've even considered moving this, these notes. I mean, this is my reference section. I kind of follow GTD a little bit. Um, I say a little bit because I've uh, changed it to my needs. Um, and everything else that's not lists, um, your planning, obviously, next action, things like that go into a reference. So everything else. So I'm starting my daughter section here and um, there's going to be a video about me setting up her section. I think I'm going to do it live if the live doesn't shut down and I have my passwords, which absolutely stays with me at all times. So um, this is one I'm weeding out. I'm going to weed out these um, and I've decided to do my recipes in a Kiki K think I'm going to do it in my orange Kiki K. Orange. My orange Kiki K. I'm going to fill her up. She's really beautiful. It's tangerine, actually. Whew, she's heavy. Um, because she's easy to clean. She's a Safiana leather. And she doesn't show dirt and things like that. So when you're in the kitchen, you know. So this is going to be my... Uh, cookbook I guess you could say my at home cookbook and I'm gonna actually um do a video of setting this up I have ideas to collage some recipes and things and I love my little it's kind of Halloweeny but I don't care <laughs> so that now has a home in place and that'll be a fun video don't you think um okay so the next thing I weeded out all right so the next thing I took out was the I did not weed this out because this is great as an index it really is um I did change the way I do my inbox instead of just this and I don't even use this as much so I think I've considered taking this out but this does come in handy so I'm leaving it there plus it has my my tabs in here and that's that's super important to me um which I need to fill in my tabs I took off but we'll see how that goes I'm kind of changing things around and I'm thinking about going into my peppercorn but I haven't decided anyway I digress um so one of the things yeah that I did change was how I did my inbox I've always had post-its in the front of my planner because I found that 
no matter how cute my planner is, I tend to put a post-it right here if I need to get something done that day. Like if I really need it done, I put it there and it's easy to find. So um, I decided to not mess up my prettiness. Like this has happened over the past couple of years. I developed this technique. If you look in the past videos, you'll see I've always done this. I used to call it my dumping ground, but that sounds so raunchy. So um, I just put post-its here and this is where I go to like really write things I need to remember. And it's, it's almost like my next action. It's my most important things. Um, and on the back here, I have my filming on, on these guys. I've actually printed out quite a few. So I have them and it's my to-do list. And I've actually already done one so I could check it off. And it's really cute and it works for me. So you can see where it says film and then have all the stuff I wanna film this weekend. If I'm gonna get it all done this weekend, I don't know, but it's there and it's cute and it works cute image huh and then I have the inbox which has by golly more post-its and 10 tips for a better time management which is awesome and then more important information so that's what's changed I've also switched my lists are still the same I'm actually going to be doing a really good um functional video on my list because I don't think I've talked about my list yet um I've got to fill it all in Oh, I did switch my cleaning situation. Okay, let me see. Did I put it in here? Okay, one of the main things that almost everybody really liked in my planner was how I did my cleaning tasks and things like that. Okay, here it is. I think this is it. Yeah, yeah. So I had day specific, um, a day specific task pullout. It was this guy, if you remember it. And it's how I kept up with my workouts and zone cleaning and basic cleaning needs every day. It was like how I kept my home running. I found that I really, I didn't really like this too much used this way. I don't like how it's like scattered. And obviously I use it, but I want to find a better use for the day specific tasks this certain um insert I'm going to keep I've also decided the inserts that I don't use and I weed out go into this planner my Qualifex Malden Fuchsia um, um it goes in here as an index um or a reference of what inserts I have and own so I can go through and be like ooh, this would be good to use for whatever um I also realized that this insert would be great for project management but that's another video but anyway so I took this out and I kept my zone cleaning sheet on this cleaning um thing uh insert now usually you redo one of these every single week but I've decided um to just do it that one and then just keep it now I was thinking of doing like a holiday cleaning on the back and then this is like um my normal weekly cleaning routine and then this like I just said would be a holiday so that's an idea but yeah my that's that was another big change okay so another weed out that I did was well the dividers I did weed out the dividers um I've started learning my section the dividers were kind of driving me nuts um I am using these beautiful um foxy fix Dashboards, I had them, never used them. They're expensive. I'm going to use them now, and I can make them cute. I actually have the functionality part of, first off, this This is kind of like a vision board I want to create. This this is just too cute, but this is my dream. I want to live in a um, tiny home and travel along the coast and um, train people and teach and all that stuff. And then I actually store my tabs here that if I need to tab an important spot, I can use my little bow tabs I made. And um, I'm probably going to build on a vision board. That's one of the things I want to do in here. But anyway, um, I also switched. Let's see, there was something else I didn't tell y'all I switched. I know I weeded out. See, this is the hard part about having to redo a video. Um, I kept my schedule. I really love that. I did fill it out, color-coded. That was really nice. I added some stickers that a friend sent me. I really love them. They're from Planner Kate. They are awesome. Uh, 
Oh, okay. Um, one of the changes that I've made in my calendar section, I just made this today. And you guys, I'm so, I love it. It's so cute. It's just, just simple. And it's a tab and I'll move it through each month. And then I can put a post-it if I needed to. But what I've done is there are a couple of big projects coming up in February. So I just put, I store some of these in the back here, right here. And if I need, like, this is um, day specific. You can see the dates here. And it's the details of the projects coming up. This way, I am sure to get them done on time. Because what I found in the past that if I have um, something that's time specific and day specific, I have a tendency to forget until like a few days before because I have so much going on. When you work a couple of jobs, you have family and you have... Um, anxiety, things like that. I'm not going to, anyway, mental health situations. Um, you can kind of forget things. That's why a lot of us with mental health problems have planners. If you look in the planner, uh, community, you'll find a lot of us with anxiety and things like that. Anyway, so I decided to just stick it in the month that it is necessary and then I'll take it out after I'm done. For example, this, and these are perfect for that because I can separate the projects. And it's so cute. Some projects need more like this and then others don't. This is a, for my daughter. She has a big project coming up and I'm really excited about it. So that's something that's changed. And I also took out my day per page. Um, I just found that I personally have used a two day per page monthly. It just works for me. I like the way it looks. To me, this is great. You can tell it's super functional. There's not much pretty to it. This is, I did this, like I just took a highlighter and then drew over it. It works for me. And so that day per page situation is out. Let me show you. I'm talking about. So what I did, so what I did, I don't know why I had that accent came out of nowhere. Um, I had these and they just did not work for me. And, and these tabs drove me crazy. So, um, I took those out and put my so much crafting back in. And I even took out the bill tracker because it goes into my um, wallet planner, which I'm not even using right now, but um, I'm going to start calling it my finance planner. So for the first time ever, I'm actually using multiple planners. Isn't that crazy? Um, I never thought I would be that person, but I am. But there's some online orders and everything like that. I found that I kind of need my online orders on me. But I don't. I really don't. I can write them down randomly in here and then move them here. But yeah, now I do have these monthlies. I actually like a lot more. These are, um, were given to me. These are a monthly bill thing. So I like that these are in here. And then I have these monthlies. These are, oh wait. I do have some monthlies that are just one page. But anyway, let me not digress. So that's changed. I've taken out my bill trackers and month on one page situation. And I've also taken out, like I said, the um, online trackers. So this little Safiano compact is honestly my finance planner now. So I've had a comment recently on planner ask, and it was on an older video asking why I needed all this stuff in my planner. Well, it's not that I need all of it. It's that I like it. And that's what's great about having a ring planner is you can decide what you want to do with it and when. So, you know, it's awesome. But, um, I have spread out my planning since that comment as well, but I've always done that. I've always come and go like today I wanted some fun time and I spent some time redecorating a little bit you can see I bought some printables and I've got some stuff I mean it's it makes me happy that's why so that was another change and then I think that's it I wanted to move this to my um list section and I decided not to but I'm gonna go ahead and do it now because I only use it once a week and I really want to stay true to my sections and this these are just notes and this is where I got in trouble in my last video there's a reason why I had to um the reason why I had to 
delete my videos because I had someone's address on here, right here, and didn't realize it. Now this you can go, this is Christina Loves Planning. She's She and I are going to be doing a collab pretty soon about just being you in your planner and, you know, the stuff that I push on people to believe in. Um, so I'm going to put my weekly review up here in my list section because I do appreciate my list section so much and I love it so much and um, I find it necessary. I don't know how many of y'all have a list section and um, find it to be a lot easier than spreading lists throughout your planner. I find I find things much easier if I stick to having lists in this section because having this that I just put in here out of the list section was okay because it was in my weekly, but I kept forgetting about it for whatever reason. But now that it's in my list section, I'll know exactly where to find it. Um, and I think that's all the changes I made. Um, I am now using this one week and dailies, like I said. Oh, this is cool. I just got these printed out. This is my work monthly work schedule. This is going to be helpful um, so I don't have to rewrite my schedule every single day. Um, this is my today marker. I made that. Oh yeah. Um, this is today. I actually haven't planned out today cause I wanted to do a plan with me. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. So let's double check. Okay. Yeah. 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 I did pull out, um, I had a lot of stuff in the pockets. I pulled that out, kept it simple. I did keep my important like keys, you know what I'm saying? This is my daily planning routine and then my color key for my tabs you see on the side. Though Those have to stay. Those are important to me. So, um, And I use them every day. And I did have these in the front because I'll use these a lot. But I'm going to put them in my pin pouch now, now that I have a pouch I'm using. And... In the back, I don't really have much except for this book, which I've even considered taking out because um, I need these tabs. That's probably why I've kept it in here mostly. But I use this sometimes, not all the time. But it does come in handy, and I don't like writing serious notes that I need to, like, break down into some deep into details later in my planner because it bulks it up too much and then I have my planner pouch this actually has business cards and stuff it's a cute way to store them okay so in the back it stays the same I have note pages important papers my video notes here um, and like I said I took out there was something else I took out and put back here there was, there really was. There was something else I took out and put back here and I forgot what it was. I was talking about it in another video, but I just forgot. But, and stickers that I use often, you'll see a lot of these. I use those, I used them. I don't know what I'm going to use them for now. I used them in, in these and G's right here. So I'm going to have to find a way to use them because I do love them maybe in here. What I can do is use them here and then put the key on a piece of put it here on my bookmark tell me what you think comment below what you think i should do if i should put the key on the bookmark so i don't have to rewrite it every week and then be able to use at least one cute sticker or what i should do so i hope you enjoyed this oh yeah and i did take the stickers out of my planner um because right now i'm not really using too many of them i have a lot of cute ones though and they stay with me this is thin enough to like um this is something I weeded out. So, that, rightfully so. Anyway, until next time, you guys. I love you so much. Thanks for being so supportive and kind. Please comment below if you have any ideas and things you want me to do to help you. Always feel free to message me on Instagram, mermaidkitty85. I am more than willing to help you, support you emotionally if I can. And I love you so much. Bye.